Thanks to a bipartisan group of senators, many hospitals throughout the country won't have to wait much longer to get much needed funding. I think this will prop them up, will uh, keep them open. In a letter to the Department of Health and Human Services, West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito urged HHS to provide COVID funding to relieve the strain of rural hospitals. Once the COVID hit, uh, with shuttering a lot of the services, our hospitals are, have had to lay people off. They've had to cut back on the services. HHS agreed and will speed distribution of $25 billion to these hospitals, which serve largely Medicaid and low-income patients, a population which Virginia Senator Mark Warner believes needs more attention. Shifting the balance so that we focus on the Medicaid populations as well, poorer Americans, young and old, is a smarter formula and um, one that I support. $15 billion will go to Medicaid and Children's Health Insurance program providers, while the other $10 billion will go to safety net hospitals. I think this will help sustain them, be able to reopen their doors better, be able to reoffer the services, preventive services, diagnostic services. Warner hopes this will help other lawmakers shift their focus. We need to direct our assistance on our COVID bills to those people who are most in need. Both Warner and Capito say hospitals in their states will need more support if pressure from the pandemic continues. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.